hi guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title today we are talking about narcotic one-on-one -on -one. so here we are going to talk about handling narcotics we are going to talk about administering narcotics and we are also going to talk about documenting narcotics so as a nurse you will hear other nurses say that narcotic is your license and that is so true narcotics go hand in hand with your license if you mess with a narcotic your license will be messed up so that is why it is a very crucial topic and i want to also talk about it how we can safely administer document and handle this control so if you are a new nurse if you are a new nurse you might really not understand the impact of um, narcotic to your license or to your job but it really takes a heavy part of your license and your job so as a nurse going on duty um, we all handle narcotics as nurses whether you work in a long-term care facility whether you work in hospital whether you are doing home health but at some point in your life you as a nurse will have to handle a narcotic you have to administer and then you have to document about those controlled substances so it is very crucial that we know a lot about our narcotics so we don't get in trouble so the first thing i'm just giving this example like in a long-term care facility because that is where i mostly work so I'm just going to tell you guys like how you can handle your narcotic and protect your license. So the first thing you do as a nurse when you get to work and you have clock in, do not like never ever take a key from another nurse without both of you counting your narcotics and signing for it. You have to count your narcotic. That is your license in your hand. Don't trust anybody because in long-term care facility, we are mostly used to saying, oh, I know that person and I trust that person. Don't do that with narcotic. It's a no, no. Because the moment you are handed that key, it means that you assume responsibility of everything thing like it's so real guys it means if anything goes wrong it's on you don't ever accept a narcotic key without counting the narcotic most time narcotics are counted with two nurses don't ever count it by yourself and don't let another person count a narcotic and tell you that it is okay because any discrepancy you are responsible for it and when a narcotic is missing it involves you have to call the police you have to call your director of nursing and for real sometimes your license can be revoked because the fda will be notified board of nursing will be notified so that is how serious it is do not i will repeat do not trust anybody with your narcotic counting you both count it and you both have to waste you both count and you both have to sign and say that yes i counted it with this nurse before she handed me the key everything was okay like you have to do that the second thing again uh, with narcotic especially in long-term care is that before you administer any narcotic to any patient first and foremost check to make sure that there is actually an order for it because sometimes you can have some narcotics that doctor ordered and the uh, it has expired sometimes the the uh the, you know sometimes a doctor can come and discontinue that medication and then you go and administer it with narcotic you will be held accountable for that kind of a mistake don't because 
the facility is responsible and they are accountable for any pill that is a narcotic to be reported they have to report it so before you go and administer any narcotic with to any patient check to make sure there's an order that order has to be signed that order should be valid it should be up to date without all of that do not administer any narcotic to any patient I don't care how much they are in pain even if they are in pain and they were taking that medication but you came on your on your job and that medication has been discontinued even if you know that you will call the doctor and he'll give an order don't always give a narcotic even without calling a doctor like do not do it don't do it okay so another thing about narcotic is that you do not waste any narcotic by yourself two nurses always have to waste a narcotic and there's always a designated container that for narcotic wastage two nurses have to waste it you have to document why you wasted that narcotic at what time it was wasted and your witness which nurse witness you destroying that narcotic it is very real don't ever ever dispose of a narcotic without another nurse because sometimes narcotic will fall so many things can happen but whatever case it is don't ever waste a narcotic by yourself always find some nurse and you guys can waste it and sign that you both did that's just to protect you and to protect your life do not ever administer a narcotic to a patient without obvious reasons okay don't administer a medication that has no cause or that you don't know why you are administering that medication like why are you giving that medication to that person because most narcotics really come with terrible side effect okay you want your patient to be safe just because a doctor ordered you to give that person a narcotic doesn't mean that you have to. If you see that the person is, uh, the side effect to that medication outweighs the benefit, do not administer it, especially when it comes to narcotic. Because as a nurse, you know, we have to be fair, you have to do justice, okay? So don't ever, ever administer a medication without assessing your patient and knowing the reason why they are taking that when you administer any narcotic you always have to document that you administer that medication and, and you administer it because you saw the person was putting out this behavior or this symptom that is why you administer it always put everything in detail in your documentation because that is what will also back you up in case of anything you put when you gave the medication why you gave the medication and how the person or the resident tolerated that medication all of these are legal documents and you should be able to back yourself by documenting in details everything about that narcotic uh, these medications these narcotics are being delivered from the pharmacy to the facility and in order for them to do that they always have somebody that uh, a pharmacy guy or a lady that will take the medication from the pharmacy to your facility so when those narcotics come they are always sealed don't always don't accept any narcotic that was originally sealed by the pharmacy but on reaching the facility, somebody has tampered with the uh, with the paper. Don't don't accept narcotic like that because it does it do because it do happen. Some of these pharmacy people they can play with it, you know, uh, and then um, you that sign for it will be held responsible. So before you take a medication from a pharmacy person. Make sure it is sealed originally from the pharmacy and you open it in front of that person. Both of you have to count it before you sign it. 
and make sure it is what it says it is if it's a trauma dog make sure it is trauma dog make sure whatever the milligram was make sure it's 25 milligram even if the person is rushing you take your time because as i said this is your license that you're dealing with that guy is making his money he's just rushing to go and drop medication but this is your license you are accountable for it so make sure everything is right before you sign for it because if you sign for it and something happened they will always trace who signed that medication and at the end of the sh your shift make sure that you recount your narcotic with the incoming nurse and you both sign you now giving that responsibility to that nurse that at the end of my shift everything was okay i handed her the key and everything was okay just to relieve you of that responsibility so yes guys um that is it about narcotic one-on-one -on -one. Uh, if you have any question or if there's anything that i did not talk about you can always ask me my email is always down below you can send me an email you can leave comment down i quickly respond to email and messages so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video